Google Pixel Fold 2 or Pixel 9 Pro Fold, whatever we wanna call it, we'll just call it Pixel Fold 2 for this video, is all looking amazing. We've seen photos recently and this is what they look like. And if you are not blown away by the beauty of this phone, you are crazy. 8.03 inside display, 6.29 outside display it's like the perfect ratio on the outside and on the inside displays it's got new updated cameras and it's supposed to be again a, a real powerhouse of a phone but as you know no phone is perfect and people love to complain about why they won't buy a specific device for such and such reasons. Now I put out a video showing off the Pixel 9 Pro Fold or Pixel Fold 2, where I sort of should have called it, and you guys had your complaints and some of them stacked up, some of them didn't, but I wanted to take five of the complaints that I think were heavy hitters or really resembled what the audience was really geared towards. So let's go through that list. The first one being, pen support you're like i'm not buying it uh unless it has uh pen support or you know does it have pen support it was questioned a little bit we don't know yet um i mean they have pen support on some of their other devices some of their older tablets and some of their older uh, laptops but they don't have it on any phones currently they could bring it to the pixel fold 2 but we don't know yet. So, uh, you know, to answer the question, does it have it? Again, we don't know. It's a little bit too early. The phone's not even out until October. And, uh, you know, I, I hope it does. I personally won't use it that much, but I know a lot of people just having, knowing it has that feature, especially with such a large inside display, you're gonna wanna use it. So I think, you know, if it had, it would be really, really cool. Uh, and it is one thing that you guys are like, gimme, 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 gimme. Power and performance is a big thing. This is due to have the Tensor G4, processor currently there you have the tensor g3 processor in their pixel 8 phones and tensor g4 should be coming out with this phone this phone would have been coming out in the summer had it been last year but this year they're pushing it back until october so they can align it with the pixel 9 series in general and it'll have the newest processors that they have available now i don't feel like this phone is going to be a super duper powerhouse like a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And that turns some of you guys off knowing that you are paying a lot for a phone, but raw performance, you're not getting the most powerful phone. But I've said it 3 million times that it's not the end of the world. This phone will be so fast and perform amazing in so many different tasks. It's really gonna be when you're using it for high performance activities, AAA gaming that you won't be able to play most likely at the ultra highest tiers of quality and, and frames per second. And then on the other end, maybe you're doing some video editing. It might take a little bit longer to render the video or photo editing. It might take a little bit longer to render that photo, things like that. But a lot of people that have these phones don't do video editing or a lot of photo editing. Um, and even if you do, it's still gonna be fast. It might be a, a few seconds or five or 10 seconds slower than say a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. But at the end of the day, probably most of us don't use the full power of our phones. And this phone is gonna be so fast, day-to-day -day stuff. It's gonna be a minute, small detail. And we're just talking about, again, this phone isn't gonna be bad at gaming or anything. It's just not gonna be the best. It, you know, for what you potentially might be expecting. A lot of people don't want the Pixel Fold 2 because they want the Samsung Fold experience of software. They love One UI, they love all the features that it, they give you, all the customizations, and to go from that to a more vanilla Android experience like the Pixel Fold, it turns them off. And the Pixel Fold 2, I can't imagine, is going to have seven million different features like the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will, but at the same time, it's going to have some features built in. They're just not as extensive, but it goes back. You know, you have all this power. You have all this, all these features. How many people actually use those features? I know I do and a lot of other people do, but you know, the regular Joe probably does it. And um, you're gonna sell a lot more phones to Joes than you are to these uh, little nerds like myself and you guys as well. But still, something to know that you know, you're know you not gonna get that Samsung experience. And I know a lot of people don't even want that Samsung experience. They want the clean vanilla Android. They want the fast experience all the time. And that's why they go to the 
pixel full because that's that's the way Android is intended to be. A lot of people don't like the rounded shapes. They want the squared off edges like the Z Fold 6. They want something different. They feel like the round, the squared off edges give it a more premium look and feel, whereas the rounded edges are a little bit old school. They don't want it. They just want something different. And you know, you can't change the design of what the phone's gonna look like when it's already set. So for these things to change, it's probably not going to happen. So with that said, it's definitely not the end of the world. You're gonna have a case on it. Um, you're going to have a device that ultimately is hopefully designed really, really well and that's and, and has really good performance and has these big, big, beautiful displays and hopefully that's all you need. And then the last one, price. Price is a huge factor in every device, especially folding phones when they're close to $2,000 and in a lot of cases over $2,000 after taxes. And this Pixel Fold 2, may, maybe it'll come out at $1,500. I don't think so. I think it'll be in the, I won't be, I don't think it'll be lower than $1,600, but I still think it'll be $1,700, $1,800 $1, for this phone, especially with all the changes they're making to it, making it a pro model with pro cameras and pro performance and not having it delayed um, with the newer technology. I think that's why it's gonna be a, ultimately a fairly expensive phone. But there you guys go. Those are things that you kind of you guys questioned or, or, or wanted changed or, or had concerns about with the Pixel Fold 2. Let me know if I missed something in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.